Hey guys, welcome back to Channel Sturge here, and today I'm going to be showing you the top 5 farming armies that you can use for Tunnel 11. Every army you'll see in today's video will be used inside of Master Lakes, and it is probably the best place to farm if you are a Tunnel 11. And the first army of the day is the Mad Sneaky Goblin Attack Strategy. This one here is very easy to use since you don't even need to use your heroes, Clan Castle, or even the spells most of the time because you are going to be attacking the dead bases as you see here. So start off, drop one goblin on every single one of the collectors as you go around the base. And if you see any storages close to the outside or on the outside as you see here, make sure to drop at least two goblins that will take down the storages very easily. And then we have the town hall close to the outside on this one here. As you see there, the tunnel is open to this compartment. So once we take down the storage on the right, we'll drop a bunch of them to head in straight towards that town hall and we'll get that star because you are going to lose a bunch of trophies if you do use this attack strategy a bunch especially if you are boosting your barracks and consistently attacking using this attack strategy so going for the town hall for at least that star will be very beneficial to get the star bonus and the loot bonus Heading on to our second army of the day, it is the Mass Baby Dragon attack strategy. This one is pretty similar to the last one, the Sneaky Goblin one, because you are just basically trying to go for the dead bases just like this one here with over 1 million of each. We're going to start off by dropping one Baby Dragon, going all the way around and making sure to spread them out to have their rage ability active because if they are too close together, they will just deactivate their rage and just be regular Baby Dragon. So make sure to spread them out and you can use your lighting spells as well as it will use them to take down the air sweeper to allow for the baby dragons to get a little bit more percentage so I can get some more trophies. This one here, just like the sneaky goblin attack strategy, you will lose a bunch of trophies if you don't use a bunch of your baby dragons. So if you have those lightning spells, make sure to drop them around the base to get some more percentage to get the 50% just like I got here. And we still have some storages around the base so if you have your heroes, you can use them. I am using up the rest of my dragons just to get as much loot as possible but I eventually use my queen at the very top left just use the ability immediately to take down the last two storages to get most of this loot on this Town Hall 11. The third attack strategy here is the Mass Miner Army. We're going to be using the heal spells in this one here because you will probably need to use it if you want to get into the core of the base. We have that Dark Elixir storage right in the middle so we are going to start off by dropping a couple of miners on these camps to create the funnel for the big group of miners that we're going to spread out towards the bottom right, drop in the warden as well if you have that available, and immediately drop a couple of heals to counter the wizard towers, the bomb towers, and the eagle artillery. We don't have any multi infernal towers on this base, which is very good, so we don't have to heal through the core of the base that much, but I still do, just in case we have that eagle shooting down onto our miners. So I dropped the right spell in the core as well, but I don't use the clan castle for this one here, because you rarely will need to use your clan castle for any of these attacks except for maybe the last attack strategy which i'll show towards the end of the video but we're getting very close to the town hall i dropped the heroes towards the bottom right as we get the 50 percent for that first star last heal spell towards the left side of the base as the miners take down the town hall for that second star and I still haven't used the clan castle. I don't think really think we need to use it because we still have a bunch of miners still up. Giant bomb goes off, but it won't be too much of an issue because the miners are spread out and the wizard tower and bomb tower won't do too much damage to our miners. King and queen still working on the outside. Minute and 50 seconds left in the raid. Plenty of time to clear out the rest of the base to get the easy three star on this tunnel 11 and gain a bunch of loot on our tunnel 11. The fourth attack strategy is the only air army of the five. It is the mass dragon attack strategy. We are going to attack this somewhat max town hall 11. We have the eagle and the single target in front of towers directly in the core of the base. And we're going to lightning spell these two air defenses alongside the queen once she goes right in the middle of the two. We'll drop the first three lightning spells and bringing down the queen's health to around a quarter left of her there. We're going to drop the king and the queen on the bottom right just to take down this bottom portion of the base and also create a funnel for our big group of dragons which will drop towards the top right to head straight down towards the last two air defenses and eventually make their way over towards the eagle. We'll drop the main squad of dragons up top right 
with the Warden and a widespread of those balloons to take down a bunch of these defenses as they make their way over towards the Eagle. Rinse up our first right spell and freezing that air defense and the Expo to keep up the Dragons a little bit longer. Another freeze on the Eagle and we'll use the Warden ability as the uh, Eagle shots are raining down onto our Dragons. Last of our raid spells, we still have one more in our Clan Castle as well as that free spell on top of the Tesla Farm. We aren't going to need to be using our uh, Clan Castle on this one here because we don't really have too many air targeting defenses left to drop and the dragons are spreading out, even taking down that town hall for that second star. Already getting that first one, we still have that raid spot, which we will probably use towards the bottom right. Minute and a half left in the raid, I am going to speed it up, since we don't really have too many air targeting defenses left and a ton of dragons, so we will get this three star without even using our clan castle rage or clan castle blimp to take down the max town hall 11. And this final attack strategy of the day is really the only one you will really need to use the clan castle. It is the queen charge hybrid. We're going to be attacking this somewhat upgraded tunnel 11 towards the bottom. And with this queen charge, you want to make sure to take down the eagle artillery. And we're going to drop a baby dragon on the right side to pass the queen over to the left. And dropping a wall breaker as she gets a little bit closer to the left side of the base. We're going to drop the king towards the top with the clan castle siege and drop a wall breaker to break open this compartment and allow for these troops to head over to that side of the base and take down that portion to create a little bit of the funnel. The queen's taking down the bottom portion and the king's taking down the top. So we can create the funnel to drop the main squad of miners and hogs with the warden on the left side of the base. Raging the queen as she is going to go through that Tesla farm towards the bottom and take down the eagle artillery to help out the main squad of hogs and miners work through this portion of the base, we're going to heal and rage through the core to speed through that portion of the base and head over to the right multi in front of tower. First star is achieved. Most of the hogs and stuff are going towards the tops. So we are going to probably drop another heal um, there. We use the warden ability to go through the multi in front of tower and those two wizard towers while also freezing it since the warden ability is a little bit short and he isn't maxed just yet. We have one more freeze with a drop on that last e wizard tower over there. We still have a wall breaker which we are going to use over here even though it doesn't really matter because we are going to get the easy three star on this town hall 11 and this is a very good pushing and farming attack strategy if you want to do two at the same time so getting the three star to get all of the loot while also getting the trophies is a very good bonus and that is the final attack strategy of the day if you want to see some more tunnel 11 content on my channel i'll have a link to the playlist where i have the tunnel 11 let's play which has progressed very well so far in that series and if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next one peace out